Either fellows. So in this episode, we're going to have a bit of fun. You see, we've gotten a bunch of requests, and I don't really get why people are so interested. But we've had folks asking we try smothering brake rotors with some lithium grease. But wouldn't it be boring to keep it at just that? And so today we'll be playing with this car and a bunch of different fluids. And so here's what exactly we have in mind. It's all fairly simple, the car is equipped with disc brakes, even though it only has them up front, but whatever, I mean... The rears pretty much don't even work at this point. It is an older car after all. Anyway, so we're going to be applying oil, grease, dishwashing soap, and we also have a... Um, small, barely noticeable can of Vaseline. <laughs> and there you are. We've made it to the test track. We're going to go out and try all of this stuff and show you guys. Let's go have a laugh. So what are we doing? To make this a fair experiment, we need to disconnect the rear. Yeah, I agree we should take the rears out of it. But do they even work? They might, there is no way to know. I think we should just block them off. Remove the tube going to... All right and put a bolt in instead. So for starters, I think we should do a baseline run to see how the brakes work before we tamper with them. Before we apply the oil, the grease, soap, Vaseline, and we've disconnected the rear brakes, for the sake of keeping this objective. Okay, we are ready. As for how fast we'll be going, we didn't bring our race logic with us. But I guess I'll shift into second and maintain an engine speed of about maybe 3000 RPM. Yeah, that sounds good. That was terrifying. It does not stop at all with just the front brakes working. And we stopped at right about that mark. I'm going to place this so that we know that the stopping distance with dry brake rotors was this much. Terrific. Is that where it should be? Yes, it is. Back to the line, apply something, and go for another round. All right, excellent. Sortie, but what variety? Oh, chamomile extract. That'll make for some nice and soft brake pads. Silky smooth. Very good. Things are going well. Awesome. Yeah, come on. Oh, look at how freely the wheel is spinning. It is so happy to rotate. Yeah, this stuff works. Now a bit in that spot. Sure, yeah, go for it. Not as easy as it looks. Try maybe this way? Okay, here we go. Three thousand RPM, that's forty kilometers an hour. It's like driving over snot. Holy cow, I was pressing the brake pedal and it was just vacillating. I'm guessing either side was biting intermittently, but let's see how much further we rolled. So the wheels did not lock up, and that's the result on the dishwashing soap. We'll place this right here, and this is where the car came to a stop, terrific. Now after that last test, we're going to, uh, yeah, there you go, excellent. Yeah, I am turning it. We need to give this a thorough clean. We are looking good, now we apply the cooking oil. Very good. Spin it forward. Sure, I can do that. It's better lubricate the pads. Yeah, of course. Now that we've put some cooking oil onto the brake rotors, Let's check the braking performance. Three thousand RPM. 
Here we go. It wasn't decelerating whatsoever. Holy cow, this cooking oil. That's an impressive stopping distance of like 20 meters, nice. Things go very nicely on the cooking oil. Terrific. Let me get this aligned. Awesome. Now when I, um, got on the brakes, uh, clearly... If I were to tap the brake pedal to sort of scrub the oil off, that would have created some friction between the pads and the rotors. But for the purpose of this experiment, I just slam and hold. And when I do that, pin the pedal and keep it there, I can literally feel that there is like no friction whatsoever. It just keeps on rolling. I mean, it did stop at some point, but it rolled far. Okay, let's try a different type of oil. That's a thick layer. Yes, it is. Now let's go out and check the stopping distance on the motor oil. All right, great. That wasn't bad. Oil is oil, no matter how you spin it. Be it cooking oil or motor oil. That's not even a meter between them. I'd say maybe 800 mil. That's a good result. Motor oil rules. What do you think we should use? Vaseline? Or maybe try the grease first? Let's save the Vaseline for last. Let's go. Okay, we've covered the rotors with some grease. Now I start the car, get up to speed, slam on the brakes, and uh, see what happens. Let's go. Now let's see. Stop, stop. And it has. There we are. Excellent, there's the lithium grease. So far, the motor oil has taken us the furthest. But we still have another ingredient that we could use, which we are now going to apply, and we'll see what happens. Let's go! We are looking good, the brake rotors are now covered with Vaseline. Now we start the car, and sit off. Let's see where this goes. And we're off. Three thousand RPM. Stop, stop. There we are, and what is the result? Speed once again was 40 kilometers an hour, and it's actually easier for me to monitor the tachometer. Second gear, 3000 RPM, and we're good. Okay, so nothing extraordinary has happened. It is a tiny bottle, but I'm going to place it right here. Terrific. And uh, those are the results. What do we see? Where I placed that first rock, I'd say it's about six meters from the tires. That was me braking on dry brake rotors before we applied anything. Yeah, looks like about six meters. Then we have the... Um, oh, wait, it's actually slightly more. With the dishwashing soap, the stopping distance was 10 meters. 
Moving along, and that was the first. Yeah, the first thing we applied was dishwashing soap. And then we have the... Vaseline in that little bottle. The stopping distance, I don't even know. It's about 20 meters, maybe? Yeah, it's about 20 meters on the Vaseline. Add another one and a half meters for the grease. Another one and a half for the cooking oil. And the winner of today's test was the... Motor oil. Probably because of the additives it contains. The ones that reduce the friction and form the film. Because the engine is under enormous stress, so if you lose that film, that's going to kill the engine. And so while it was on the brake rotors, it made for a serious reduction in the friction, resulting in the car rolling the furthest distance when we used it. And that's the experiment, you saw the results for yourselves. You guys make sure to keep tuning in, and uh, yeah, catch you later.